a chance to do that this afternoon against Alabama A&M from the SWAC, the Southwestern Athletic Conference. Your officials this afternoon, Ted Valentine. This is a key theme right here, how they defend ball screens against Chris Likes. Here's Sam Wardenberg, 21 in white. The offensive tip is in by Rodney Miller, the big seven-footer. Cameron Alford, he's the leading scorer and rebounder. He gives it off and has it blocked by Miller. So already a bucket and a block from the Miami big man. DJ Vasilovich does what he does best. Otherwise, he can do that. One of the better shooters in college basketball. Now he's only 18 points shy of 1,000 for his career. First bucket for the Bulldogs. Struggles defensively. What do they like to do on offense? Well, a lot of times uh, they are a dribbling team as we take a look at the turnover. And the put in by Parham. He's got the first four for the Bulldogs. Showing off a little hops right there, protecting the rim. Alford with the extra pass in the corner, and that's number 10, Garrett Hicks. Interesting, talking to Coach Laranega this morning at shoot-around, he said he tried to get his team to be better off the shoot and catch. Right here, okay, pretty good spacing. The ball screen's coming, and then this is what uh, they do best. I had a chance to speak with my former coach, Pat Riley, and I remember he charted in practice uncontested shots. Look, it's... The difference between a good player and a great player, that right there. It's about DJ Vasilovich, one of the best knockdown three-point shooters in the ACC. But someone like Sam Wardenberg, who just shot that free throw, he's a career 38% free throw shooter, or uh, three-point shooter. Jimmy V trying to go shoot a layup, and Roy coming out trying to break it up with the block. Here's another freshman, Jalen Johnson, and he first hits his first shot of the game. Beverly gives it up. Here's Stone in his second game for the Hurricanes this season, coming off multiple injuries. He misses, but Sam Wardenberg is leading this team in scoring in the early going. Bama a and in a 2-3 matchup zone. Here's Wong all the way to the cup, and Isaiah Wong has his first bucket of Dylan Howard. Surprised his team with a trip to an NBA game last night to see the Heat take on LeBron, Anthony Davis and company, and little did they know they were stumbling into Malcolm Huckabee appreciation night <laughs> at the double A. <laughs> Sometimes you have to wonder, are you setting yourself up to be surprised in a game like this? Yeah, and again, we saw that in shoot around this morning with Coach Blair Nega as we take a look at uh, Chris Likes. He's looking at this, set him up, think you're going to the left, and this cross right back over to the right. In terms of height, uh, he's got one of the biggest hearts in college basketball. He is not afraid to go in there. Look at big EJ Williams, 6'10", 275, freshman out of Middleton, Ohio, and has lost a ton of weight in just the early part of his young career here. And you can see he's got the talent to match. There's Stone with an answer. But AM can't turn it into points at the other end. Here comes Likes. Calls his own number, knocks it down, and a chance at a four-point play for Chris Likes. Here comes Beverly, the freshman. Five and white, bulls his way to the hole, but comes up empty, chases down the miss, and here's Miami again with numbers. And McGusty makes some pay. Here's Parham. And Sism. Baseline jumper from Jerron Sism. They hook and hold. A clear hook and hold. Uh, they went to the monitor, reviewed it, and uh, again, that is a point of emphasis as we take a look at Chris Life. Uh, that is a Tough catch and shoot. A little bit of a mismatch. Alford takes advantage over the outstretched arm of Sam Wardenberg. Good rim run by the big man, Jalen Johnson. Johnson's got his second field goal of the game. Here's Vasilovich. He only has three on that one three-pointer. McGusty got it. Nice jump stop in the lane from Cam McGusty. He's got six. McGusty, a little bit of a heat check from Cam McGusty. Keith Stone gets the rebound, but it's taken away by Hicks. Garrett Hicks converts at the other end, and he has five. All right, great job. Here's Brandon Miller, the six-foot junior. Off to the right, nice rebound by Beverly. Looks up, finds McGusty, an easy two at the other end. Miami. Not hitting a lot of jump shots, but dominating in the paint. 20 to 12 points in the paint advantage for the Canes. There's a circus shot by Garrett Hicks. He has seven. And then lay it up off the glass over the defense with the opposite hand. That time his left. 
That's a beautiful move. Beverly, nice take to the hole from the freshman Harlan Beverly. Johnson, right hook, somehow gets that to go. Everything seems to be falling for the Bulldogs. For me, uh, one of the better point guards in the country, that didn't happen. They got three losses already as we take a look at more great ball movement. But I think to answer your question, there is not a true number one team in the country. Likes with the crossover. And the hesitation move. What a move by Chris Likes. Uh, I think the big number for him, size of heart and he is just fearless on the court as we take a look at Wardenberg again. Trying for 13, but he's short on the three. Here comes Hicks in transition. And the blow by by Garrett Hicks. Hicks' first bucket of the second half gives him nine for the game. Comes McGusty. Vasilovich, automatic. Now 12 points shy of 1,000 for his career. What an up and under move by EJ Williams, showing the full offensive repertoire. And on the shot clock. Inside, Johnson, elbow jumper, got it. Jalen Johnson has 10. One of them, an assistant with a Michigan, Howard Isley. I remember our first road trip as we take a look at more great footwork uh, by EJ Williams. Miller, spin move, left hand, yes. Uh, you can see the improved agility and footwork. That's a tough finish in the lane. That jumper falls. And AM is hanging around. Cameron Alford. Another three, this time by number three, Cameron Tucker. Gusty can't pay it off. Bulldogs want to run. Tucker, all by himself, takes it to the hole. Cameron Tucker has seven. He directed, or decorated in his high school career out of Winona High School. Nice take by McGusty. Rebound by Miller, his third of the afternoon. Here's Likes. Again, another circus move by Chris Likes. They try a corner three and get it again. Another triple by the Bulldogs. What they're doing is they're overextending on the high ball screen, Miami. They're overhelping, and Alabama A&M with their spacing, they're doing a nice job finding people in the corner. Easy bucket by McGusty. And there's another nice move by Alabama A&M. Nice look inside, and Jalen Johnson benefits. A dozen for Johnson. But making up a makeshift baseball field and a hotel uh, where he said, look, I just felt like our guys needed to lighten up a little bit. And uh, again, uh, really take your hat off to him. The Hurricanes are up just six with six and a half to go on what has proven to be a very game tough, young Alabama A&M team. Here's Williams, up and under. E.J. Williams has been really impressive this afternoon. Excellent spacing that time, though. That's a beautiful entry pass in the post. And there's an easy two for the Canes. <laughs> I'll tell you what, the sneaker games is just, uh, by a lot of these young men, is just off the chart as we take a look at another three. Wow, that's a good look, though, for Alabama A&M. Off great ball movement. Look at both clubs diving on the floor for the loose ball and Alford cherry picking at the other end. Lowest scoring offenses in all of Division I basketball has not looked like it at all this afternoon. Para blocked by Wardenburg. Here's McGusty in the open court. Nice step through by Cam McGusty. Measuring Hart, I don't think anybody out there on the court has a bigger one. He is just fearless. Vasilovich. Off the dribble, knocks it down. And Chris Likes was holding up three fingers right as he released it. Likes in a phone booth, gives it up to McGusty for three. 21 now for Cam McGusty. One wow. shy of his career high. Swatted out of bounds by Wardenburg.
able to make these passes. That's just a great individual play. Hit the B button. Hit the B button. Uh, that's just not fair. Jalen Johnson with the baby hook. Well, the crowd is cheering, but at times it was a white knuckle affair as DJ Vasilovic puts the final nail in the coffin, the exclamation point. At the end of the day, uh, Miami has done enough uh, to come out of here uh, with the victory against Alabama A&M.